Hello YouTube. I'm recording this video of my bird. He, he flew into a ceiling fan on the 17th and he broke his, his hip bone. So I took him to the veterinarian and they cast him up. Today is now the 7th, the 7th of um, September and he just got his cast off of him. They didn't expect him to live because he's always been such a small bird. I've had him for 12 years now. His name's Pretty Boy. Well, he just got back from the vet. He was panting really, really bad. And as we left, they still didn't expect him to live. He's out of his cast now. Tried to put him in his cage, but he wasn't perching very well because he's not used to using his leg because this is the day that he just got it out. Though he came out of his his um, cast, I guess you would say, maybe twice, so they had to keep wrapping him up. So she did him the third time, and she said if he came out of that one, that he would be Houdini. So he stayed in that one, and he's out now, and he's pretty much cleaning himself because he's so happy to be a free bird now. And they gave me little hope still when I left the veterinary in the day but I know my bird so they gave me medicine to give him when he was ill and they really didn't expect him to live long so they gave him a little pain pill medicine which was supposed to last for two weeks but it only lasted a week because they really didn't have any hope they tried to rip me off I believe but I know my bird I say he may be a small bird but he's healthy he's never been sick but he hit that ceiling fan and knocked all of his feathers off but He's doing good now. He's growing his feathers back. He's a little under the weather, as you can see, but he's a little busy there. His leg is not broken now. He just has to get used to using it again. And um, he's moving around. And like I say, they still didn't expect much of him. Didn't expect him to live. And I pray that he does live, but He's made it through the most part because his accident was on the 17th of August and it is now September 7th. So he's still pretty much making it. Pretty boy. So let's see. Come over there. Pretty boy, come to the cameraman. Let him see you. He's, he's still a little active here. Say hi, pretty boy. Say hi. He doesn't look quite well, but he's fine, and his little breast up here is kind of small, so I've been hand feeding him, but as you can see, he's he's still living, and I love this bird. I've had him for so, so many years, and like I say, they didn't expect him to live. I beg to differ. I think he's going to make it, but God has to say so, not man. They put him on oxygen before he left wanted to charge me $40 for an hour oxygen and they also wanted to to feed him and charge me $50 but I feel like if I brought him this far I should be able to make it through and like I said his little feathers are pretty much if I can do this here and that's his little leg that was broken which would be the right one which he's using it now I believe it's this one and he's using it now but he's just, you know, not used to using it. So, but it's there and it's not broken. This this happens to be the good leg if he sits still and let me do it. As you can see, he is moving those legs, but one of them was broke and he's back to using them. And um I just want to make sure that he lives through this cuz I've worked really hard trying to and as you can see his feathers is growing back, but he's still active and he doesn't want to be bothered he has a video that I posted before he got sick and it's on my it's on my poster so you can see how how very well he was then but I'm going to put him back in the cage and also this here is his syringe just get back in poo -poo. and as you can see he's doing very well I think this is his syringe that I have to hand feed him four to six times a day and he's eating NutraStart to um 
to getting back together, which is baby food formula. And this is his medicine, which is a um, pain, a back pain, and a back pain. This is for antibiotics for his his whatever reason they gave him that. And this is his painkiller that they gave him. If I can get it there. And this is his pain kill pill. So he's getting hand fed. And as of now, he's still living. And I want him to continue to live because we've came so far together. He's also in my dog's kennel. They wanted me to keep him in the little carrier that he was in because they didn't want him to move a lot but I felt that that was entirely too small to keep him caked in so I put him in the dog's kennel which is padded and he appears to like it I tried him in his cage today because he haven't been in it but he wasn't approaching very well and I don't want him to have to use a lot of energy trying to get himself back together so I put him back in the dog kennel so that's where he is and he seems to be happy there but again like I say the doctors gave me very little hope with this bird when he went in he was only 80 grams he's lost a couple of grams since then because he's like 73 grams now but this is a strong bird when I got this bird back in 2000, 1999, 2000 I didn't actually pick this bird this bird picked me because when he was in a cage with a lot of birds and when I came to try to buy a bird he just flew on the cage and it was like he was saying pick me pick me go I want to go home I want to go home which I really think that he wasn't eating a lot then because when I brought him home he stayed on this food dish for about a week before he got off of it as if he didn't want anyone to be bothered with his food at all so that's how he was when I first got him. Feathers was kind of messed up, but it was just something about that bird that made me bring him home. He didn't appear to be sick because his anal glands and everything were clear. He didn't have any mucus or anything there. He feathers wasn't in the greatest of shape, but I got him together and we love each other. He loves me and I love him. So I just want to make sure that this bird survives and I definitely will give an update. I wanted to fix this bird myself because I didn't have any money to, to even take this bird to the vet because avian doctors are so high. But I took him anyway and they were really trying to get my money, money that I didn't have. So I had to do all of this myself to try to get this bird back together and I'm hoping that I can give you an outcome of him how he's doing he's over there now picking with that that little um foot that he just got out the cast so he's kind of messing around with it he's glad to be free but that just goes to show you the length that you'll go for your animals you know if you if you really do love them true enough it's my fault that he hit the ceiling fan first time he ever did which he could have been a dead bird he lost a lot of feathers they were feathers everywhere and that's when I realized that his little leg was broke when I tried to put him back in the cage and he couldn't perch and he was so pitiful it just really just broke my heart to see my bird like that so I didn't expect him to live I was like Lord your will be done but I was like I can't afford to fix this bird I don't want him to suffer I was like so when I wake up in the morning maybe he'll be gone and I woke up about nine o'clock in the morning because this happened about three in the morning and I heard him still moving I was like he's still alive gotta go and do something about it so I called around and I found an uh, um, avian doctor to take him to so that's pretty much what happened and I don't really know what else to say no more than I want this bird to make it and he has he has lost like I said a lot of weight though I've been hand feeding him syringing him food but he's still hanging in there and the doctor said if he's doing what he's doing now like um, groom, grooming himself which birds don't usually do when they're in distress and she said because he was such a little bird that he had very little chance of living going through the traumatic broken leg but 
it's been 22 days now, and he's all his cast. And he's still living. And I would love to give you an update for you can see him the after in his cage. And we're going to just pray that he pulls through this because I don't want to lose him now because I've been through a lot with him within these last two, three weeks. And it has not been easy trying to nurture him and feed him because he does not want to eat anyway. So it's like basically force feeding him. And um, I don't really know what to say, but he appears to be fine. And if you look on any of the posts of the videos that we've done before, you'll see how healthy he was before his accident. So I will keep you guys posted. Pray for my bird. His name is Pretty Boy, and I really do love this bird. We've came a long way. Bird never been sick. He's well. He's went to the vet once before when I first got him, and that was because he had a little runny nose or something. So I was concerned. They put him on antibiotics. He's never been back to the vet except for this incident, which is in 2011. So that just goes to show you that just because he's a small bird doesn't mean anything because he's been healthy and never sick so I'm waiting on him to get it together so that I can take him back to the vet and let them see that he's still a happy bird and he's still living because they really not giving him any hope now when I left they like good luck and um, hopefully he'll live but I don't see him pulling through this I see him pulling through it because I know my bird He's doing great. He's doing great. He's glad to be out of his cast or his splint, whatever you call it. I have pictures of it, but I didn't upload it, which I should have probably uploaded some. But he is posted on one of the videos on there, um, Bad Bird. So he's, he's on there, and you'll see him, just how arrogant he was before his little incident. But as you can see, he's very happy. Maybe I'll touch him again and see can I get his attention. Pretty boy, say bye on the video, man. And let them know that you 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 have you'll be you'll be together again, won't you? You letting them know? Say hi, pretty boy. Say hi, man. Tell them I'll be fine. I'll be fine. And then then he goes back in his cage. So I'll be putting him back in his cage when he gets well. But this is him as of now in the dog kennel. We're going to pray that he makes it. I'll keep you guys posted. But doesn't he, doesn't he look like he'll survive? He looks like a survivor. Doesn't look sick to me, but yes, he has very, very little breast meat up there now. But he's doing good. He's doing good. He's preening himself. He's, he's doing good. So I just had to upload, and here's the bigger syringe that I'll be feeding him later. And he needs about four to six of these a day. So I'm going to work with that. And these are his medicine tubes, which you're off. he's off his medicine now. So this is, this is his tubes that I was giving him like every 12 hours. But I'll keep you guys posted on him. I think he's a little sleepy now. And... I'll be glad to post another video of him once he gets healthy again. He'll be in his cage then, and you guys can see him. So, as of now, it looks like he's he's kind of sleeping. So, I'm going to end the little video, and you guys let me know what you think about this YouTube video about this miraculous bird here that seems to fool everyone because he is so special, and he aims to live and he wants to live and he showed me all of that during the times I've got him when he picked me and remember this bird picked me I didn't pick him and that is why I have this bird right now today because I wasn't trying to get this bird but I could not lead the bird when I when I got him back in 1999 maybe 2000 I didn't leave him because he begged to go home with me and I brought him home and that's how we got together alrighty so I'll see you on the next video. He's sleeping now. As you can see, he's a little resting. Bye.